All right, so this clip has been going around a lot. So after the game against Washington, USC quarterback Caleb Williams went to his mom, and unfortunately, he was very emotional, and he was crying. And there's a lot of opinions about this. People call him soft. People saying when he gets to the NFL, he can't be doing things like this. And I got to say, I'm going to get my take on this. Probably, people probably aren't going to agree with it, but you already know I don't really care. So for one, imagine if you had one of the best games of your college career this season just for your defense to do the same thing once again and fail you and basically lose the game. Just think about that for a second. Number two, he just watched his college team get eliminated from the college football playoffs, get eliminated from a New Year's Six Bowl. They can probably still go to a bowl game, but the other two I just named are out of the question. You also have to realize this is college. With college, for the most part, you develop a close relationship with your teammates. And basically, same thing as high school. You have such a limited time slot to win big with your, you know, school or whatever. Especially if you're a highly touted prospect. If you're a highly touted prospect, you probably get like one, two years, you know, maximum to win with your team before you finally go to the NFL. You know, take advantage of your draft stock and get that contract. With the NFL, whether you like it or not, you get more chance in the NFL to win a championship than you do college. With college, you get, like I said, four years maximum. With the NFL, if you're genuinely a good player and you get, you know, on a good team, you have probably 10 to 15 years if you're a good player, depending on your position, to win a ring. But the whole idea that he solved shows me that a lot of people have genuinely never played a sport in your life. Because if you genuinely have never been emotional over a loss, if you played a sport, you're lying. You're lying to me. If you've never been emotional after losing a game, even in winning a game, if you've never been emotional, you're lying. If you say that. Not to mention the rebuttal a couple weeks ago against was it Utah that he showed no emotion and he didn't care about this team but the final time he shows emotion he's sensitive he's soft and now y'all are doing all these rebuttal and narratives I don't get it and then now some of y'all moving the goalpost saying that he's crying for himself which is it is he crying for himself does he not care about the team what is it? Frankly, what I see here is a lot of y'all are just seeing a dude cry and looking at it as soft. Like I said, if you do not show emotions or you lying say you do not show emotions, you're lying. I don't care. You're lying. In fact, NFL players do this too. When Cam Newton lost the Super Bowl a couple years ago, he was emotional. When Patrick Mahomes lost the Super Bowl a couple years ago against the Buccaneers during his press conference, he was also emotional. It is completely normal for a player to be emotional when he loses game. But the only reason it's a problem with Caleb Williams because he's a high tighter prospect and people are looking for anything negative to criticize him on. But that's all I'm going to say. Hey, yo, before I tap off, though, I'm trying to build up my new sports page right here. So if you haven't yet, hit me with a follow. I'm trying to see if I can hit at least 100 followers, start posting more. So before you click off, hit that follow, boy.